This video is gonna be quite the experiment and I've done videos similar to this in the past. I think I did one like it last summer where basically I'm going to be trying to find the very perfect pair of summer denim shorts. It's a large feat, we'll see. Basically, I struggle every single summer when it comes to denim shorts, and I have kind of two go-to pairs that I wear pretty regularly, but I'm really trying to find like the perfect pair. I don't know if they're out there, and my criteria for the perfect pair of denim shorts would be high-waisted, gotta be high-waisted. Has to be comfortable enough to where I can sit down in them and not feel like I'm being sliced in half. That's a big one. And probably the most important is that they need to be long enough to where I don't chafe in between the thighs because I don't know if you've ever had a bad case of chafing from denim shorts in the summer, but it is pure hell on earth. It is actually the worst thing in the entire world. So I decided to hit the internet, do a little bit of research, kind of do some digging around on my own, also try to find my most favorite retailers when it comes to jeans and shorts and test them out and see if I can happen to find my go-to classic favorite pair of shorts for the summer. So we're gonna be trying out Madewell, American Eagle, Abercrombie, as well as Target. And then I'm also gonna show you my favorite pairs from last year and I guess we'll just see how they compare. So it's just gonna be a deep dive on denim shorts today. I will try to make it as comprehensive as possible. I love being your guinea pig and I feel like a lot of times on my channel I'm testing out jeans, but not too often am I testing out jean shorts. So we're gonna dive in. We have a lot to cover. Let's get started. All right, so starting off, I've got my pile here. I have my two pairs of shorts that I wore last year, which I guess I'll just kind of go ahead and try on in the beginning just to show you where I'm coming from. So this first pair, which like I feel bad even trying on, but I'm just being honest, this is like always my go-to ride or die no matter what. And like they're starting to fall apart. So that's sort of why I'm doing this, but it's a thrifted pair of men's jeans that I cut into shorts. These are by Gap and I got these in a size 38-30, so they're like nice and loose around the waist and really comfortable and then I just snipped them in a DIY video, probably 2018. So we'll try these on and I'll show you because they're actually probably the best pair of shorts I own and I've yet to find a comparable pair, but like I said, they're kind of falling apart. So here they are. I mean, they're pretty great. Like, they're pretty great. I've rolled them up in the past, but honestly, I kind of just like leaving them long. I like that longer shorts are becoming more popular. That's the other thing. It's like, I want to be able to find a pair that I really, really love, that I feel comfortable in, that I can walk around all day in, but that aren't like straight up Bermuda shorts down to my knees, you know? Like trying to find a happy medium, if you will. So I really do love this pair. They were probably $7. And I kind of did want to start off this video by mentioning them because obviously the most sustainable thing to do would be like to use what you already have or go thrifting. So if you're on the market, it's always a good option to head to the thrift store and see what they have available and see what you can cut into shorts because this was just a random pair of jeans that did not fit me and they became like my favorite shorts ever. They're so cute. They're pretty long. Like they definitely cut to the place where I feel like I can walk around in them all day and not really chafe too badly, but they're definitely not perfect. So I feel like we could bump it up a little bit. We could get a little bit better, but they are a super cute pair of shorts. They're very high-waisted. I've worn them to the beach. I've worn them all over the place. So the other pair is, I guess I didn't really wear them that often last summer, but these are the Levi's High Loose Shorts. If you saw, I did a Levi's video, which was the most confusing thing of my entire life, probably like early last year. And this was the pair of shorts that I ended up getting. These are in a size 33, but just make sure you check the size charts because Levi's sizing is all over the place. So I'll show you these. So, okay, these are great. They're a little bit tighter around the waist and they're like a little bit looser right here. I do wish they were just ever so slightly longer in the front, but they are really cute. Like they have the cute little Levi's butt. Feels very kind of like 90s supermodel-esque. The only thing is they have like a hard seam right here. They're not like a cutoff. So they definitely do kind of chafe me more often that type of hem on the inside of shorts. If you know what I'm talking about, you know, like I just feel like it's more harsh. I have really, really sensitive skin. So yeah, these are cute, but I couldn't wear them like all day long, I don't think, cause they do eventually chafe. So I don't know, that's why we're gonna dive into all these new pairs. So that's kind of why I wanted to show you these from last year to show you what I'm looking for, but like hopefully to improve even more. So starting off, I'm gonna go with a pair by Madewell. And these are actually like sort of a pull-on short and they kind of give me like paper bag vibe. So these are called the denim pull-on utility shorts. I got these in a size 32 because Madewell sizes can run pretty big. And I figured with this being sort of like a paper bag waist that I wouldn't want them to be too, too big. So these do look really cute. I love the look of these. I actually 
miss paper bag so much like I miss that era terribly they were so comfortable they were so stretchy I feel like that just kind of came and went like everyone was really into paper bag waists and then it went away and I feel like it needs to come back so maybe it's up to me you know so okay let's try this pair on together and see what it's gonna look like and by the way even though it is a pull-on short it still has like the button and zipper so I love that okay here we go so far they feel loose which is good oh oh um <laughs> okay so these are super cute I'm definitely gonna keep these these are not the shorts though do you know what I mean they're not the shorts the pockets are super deep they're super high-waisted they fit great they're nice and roomy I can sit around in them very comfortably but it's the length it's just the length. I totally understand that um, I'm being extremely picky, so I completely get that, but there is like a line between like wearing something cause it's cute and like being in physical pain over it and it's just not worth it. But also I understand that sometimes when you make shorts longer, they do kind of look more matronly and like kind of 80s mom, <laughs> but they are a really cute pair of shorts. Like I actually love the way they look. I'm still gonna keep them. They I do feel a little bit softer in between the legs than like the last pair, the Levi's pair, for example. These are super, super freaking comfortable. So I would just have to probably do some sort of like inner thigh chafing balm situation if I were to wear these, but I'm definitely gonna keep them. They were on sale. They're super cute. I love the wash. I love this. This does feel very kind of reminiscent of like summer 2019, which was a time, a very exciting time for me actually. I just miss anything pre-pandemic obviously. So yeah, these are cute. I'm gonna give them, hmm. Compared to the first two pairs and also just like my criteria of what I'm looking for, I'm gonna give them like a 6.8 out of 10. They're cute. They're good. I do worry a little bit about the chafing. Let me know if you would want to see me put my favorite ones to the test and like walk around all day. Although I don't know if I want to like put myself through that pain, but we'll see. Let me know. But still very, very cute. So and the next pair I'm going to try is a little bit longer. This pair is from American Eagle. Now I need to take a quick second and like give a preface about American Eagle because I did a fitting room video in their fitting rooms back in like January. And I noticed when I was shopping online, even like as early as probably last summer, I want to say, it was difficult to find my size and they stopped carrying a lot of their extended sizes even online which was very confusing so I noticed that even when I was searching this time around in like sizes 20 22 and 24 there really weren't that many options available this short for example the one that I'm about to try on next only went up to like an 18 or a 20 which I'm still so confused about so I just wanted to preface that before going into it because I actually love American Eagle and I want them to do better and I want to continue like putting that message out there in the universe and hopefully it will happen they do follow me on instagram so american eagle if you're watching this please continue carrying your extended sizing i don't understand but i did order this size 16 short and these are called the baggy mom shorts and these look really cute like they look like much more of the vibe that i'm going for but i'm i don't want them to be too baggy so we'll see these retail for 49.95 i got them on sale i want to say they were like 30 dollars, so much more my style my vibe my price point that i'm looking for so Okay, let's see. Okay, here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah, these are good. Damn it. Okay, yeah, these are pretty great. These are pretty great. <laughs> Hold on, I'm kind of mad that I love these. Ah, I'm gonna say so far, these are pretty pretty close to perfect. I'm scared. I'm scared to say that. <laughs> these, I mean, American Eagle just, they know how to do it and like they can make more extended sizes. So I really, really want them to keep doing that. I don't know if you noticed, but I really do try to put a focus on size inclusivity on this channel. So I really do try my very best to only promote brands that I know carry a wide range of sizes. And that's why I loved uh, when American Eagle extended their sizes. I was like, everybody spend your money. And we did, we all did. So anyways, um, these do go up to a size 20. Um, I would hope that in the future they extend to a size 22 and 24 and beyond, but these are freaking cute. Like I'm actually mad at how much I love these. They're not like that super loose baggy look on me, but I actually like that. I like how high-waisted they are. I like that there's room. I could size down to a 14, but I honestly like how loose these are, like I said. I really do love the length. Like it's actually kind of perfect. And like I said before, with like the Levi's there's not that hard seam it's just kind of a frayed seam in the middle here so it's like chafe free uh. I'm gonna go ahead and give these like a literal 9 out of 10 like they're almost perfect I like too that kind of in the front here like they're not as long as the seam in between the legs which I love 
love when brands do this. Hello brands, are you listening? Please keep doing this. Where it's like a bit longer in between the legs, but like up here it's a bit shorter. So it just kind of gives that cool like frayed sort of, I guess, cutoffs vibe, but like you're not chafing to death in between your legs. You know what I mean? But it is a little bit longer in the back too. So like if you were a little bit self-conscious about the back of your legs, a lot more coverage is happening here. They're really high waisted. They fit great. <sighs> I'm finding myself getting annoyed that I love these as much as I do. I honestly thought these were going to be a fail. Like, I really did. I just thought, well, we'll just throw that pair in there and just see how it goes. But these are really great. I really recommend them. I love them. Like, this freaking outfit? Are you kidding? Summer picnic vibes? I love it. I love it. I'm sorry. I've got to be honest. I love it. Let's move on. Next up, we have a pair from Target, and this is called the Highest Rise Cutoff Shorts. I got these in a size 16 or a 33. This is by Wild Fable, and these are typically my favorite brand from Target. Like, I really do love Wild Fable so much, but now that I'm looking at these, they look kind of short. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> these do have a button fly. I oftentimes prefer a zipper for some reason, like I'm just a zipper person. I know everyone has their preferences, but this was a really affordable pair that I found. They retail for $15. So if this ends up working out, I'm gonna be so, so happy. I have like a longer pair from Target that I got last year, but they're kind of more of like a Bermuda short, so I didn't want to include them in this video. So, okay, let's see how these $15 shorts compare. <laughs> Please work. I want them to work so badly. Okay, here we go. Oh, on Target, don't let me down. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. Oh yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> oh no, no. They're cute, but like what? No, just pure raw chafe right there. Absolutely not. And these were the pair that I picked out on their website, by the way, that looked like they were the longest pair. Like I was like, oh, those look good. Or at least the longest compared to like, you know, the long Bermuda shorts that are kind of popular right now. But yeah, no, oh, it's sad because these are really cute. So hey, if you're someone who doesn't mind if you don't chafe or if it doesn't bother you or if you have a product you like to apply or whatever, these shorts are really freaking cute. Like if I knew I wasn't gonna chafe in five minutes, I would totally keep these. I love them but I could just tell immediately that's why I was like no absolutely not you just know when the thighs make contact you just know super high-waisted though like such a cute pair of shorts but just absolutely not absolutely not the ones for me I'm gonna have to return these which makes me so sad like how cute the booty adorable but it's just not functional and not practical so judging these by the criteria that I'm looking for like I mentioned I'm gonna give these like a 2 out of 10 because pain so much pain but like just judging them in general. <laughs> They're such a cute pair of shorts, like eight out of 10. Sad, but these have to go. So we have one brand left, and this is actually a pair of shorts that I've worn already. I've actually even worn them in thrifting videos, and a lot of you had been asking about them, and they are definitely a runner up for this year. But these are really, really good, and I had to mention them. So these are the Abercrombie & Fitch Dad Short. They're high rise, they're a size 16. And I got these in kind of like the sort of trendy, like crisscross applesauce button thing that's going on right now so they're just like kind of a different vibe and I also got a pair that are just like the straight across one but these are so cute so I need to show you what they look like on because it's a little bit different with the rise hold on I need to take these shorts from hell off there's so many buttons oh my god okay and here they are they're honestly so cute I just got them out of the dryer though so they're like a little bit wrinkly but they're like just nice and loose and I feel like a lot of times with sort of plus size shorts or I guess brands that make shorts that extend into plus sizes like it doesn't fit the same as it does on the straight size model so like if you see something and it's kind of more of like a baggy style short when it extends into plus sizes it doesn't really fit baggy it just kind of fits tight and it looks completely different so I love that these are available in plus sizes they go up to a size 24 and like how it actually looks the way it's supposed to look like it looks like a loose baggy short and it is and it's just so cute Abercrombie is really expensive and I've done like a fitting room video on Abercrombie before let me know if you would want to see me like do a spring summer try on and I've seen people ask me to watch the Abercrombie documentary and review it I think that'd be really interesting 
interesting but since they're kind of like downfall in the I guess mid 2000s um, they've really made a comeback and like a complete 180 like they've really impressed me so much lately with their inclusivity with their diversity with their size with the quality with like so many other things I just wish that the price would follow suit but we'll see and these are great so the only like points I would dock off for these is just because of the crisscross it doesn't make them as high-waisted like my belly button kind of shows but that's also kind of cute so keep that in mind but these are the perfect length I wore them thrifting recently they looked amazing they felt great I've worn them out and about like walking around Target with family and they're so good I need to order these in like every single wash possible I did also order them in like a different kind of style these are the exact same shorts but just in like the traditional like straight across waist with the zipper however I should have ordered the frayed version because even though they're long enough this part at the bottom here like this seam this is what I'm talking about this seam right here is just straight from hell and it just cuts into my legs so badly so I may just get another pair that's like this but that's the straight across but these are a really really cute option as well and I just love the length I love how much they cover my butt it still looks really cute it doesn't look like I'm like I don't know I'm always trying to avoid the 90s dad wearing his cut off jeans like mowing the lawn do you know what I mean that's kind of what I'm trying to avoid. Or maybe I'm not. I don't know. Maybe that's actually my aesthetic. Who knows? But yeah, I do think that we covered some really good options. I'm going to link every single one of these besides the thrifted pair in the description box below in case you're interested in checking them out. I think we definitely uncovered some really good options. I would say my two top favorites are this pair and the American Eagle pair, as well as my thrifted pair, of course. Um, the honorable mention is the Levi's. The Madewell ones were really cute. I'll sort of see how that works and I'll give you an update as far as chafing goes. Did I find the perfect pair of summer denim shorts? No, unfortunately. But did I find some really good options? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So maybe we'll have to do a part two to this and keep trying, but I'm happy with my findings. I think there's probably better ones out there. I have to find them, but I'm really, really, really happy with everything that we've covered today. Besides the Target ones, those are going back. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. If you have any shorts that are like your go-to ride or die, absolutely recommend, then please let me know in the comments below. I would love to do a part two to this, test out some more denim shorts. We are bound to find the perfect, non-chafing, cute, not ugly <laughs> denim shorts. It, they're bound to be out there. Or maybe I need to create them myself, I have no idea. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you all of my love, and I will hopefully see you very soon in my next one.